Thank you for joining me again on a faithful video. Once again on PastorJerome.org. Today I want to minister on overcoming discouragement. Overcoming discouragement. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1 through 6, and then a few more verses. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1 onwards. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. And had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away, went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. David's two wives were taken captive, Ahinoam and Jezulitus. The Jezreelites and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. A beautiful story, but a sad one. Uh, David, a man that's anointed of God, he goes away from his headquarters at that time, Ziklag. And when he returns uh, after battle, he returns to find the Amalekites had attacked his headquarters and not only just attacked, burned it down and taken the families with the children. Now, this was a very sad state. This was a very discouraging picture for a king, a man after God's own heart, a man of great uh, victor and anointing on his life doesn't expect things like this to happen. And when an unexpected situation like this happened, um, everybody on David's team uh, started weeping, started howling and weeping. So much so, the Bible says in verse number 4 of 1 Samuel 30 that they had no more power to weep. They lifted up their voice and they wept. And uh, it went beyond that. They, they spoke of stoning David because every man was grieving. And David was coming under a lot of stress and a lot of attack. And they were under tremendous discouragement and distress. And they wanted David just out. You know, the leader gets most of the, the brunt. And the Bible specifically says David was greatly distressed. He was under a lot of stress. And this is distress. Discouragement and stress put together sounds like distress. And it is unbearable and, and David couldn't perhaps take it. His soul was grieved. Uh, all people's soul was grieved and David's soul was grieved to the extent perhaps he didn't know what to do. But if you notice in verse number 6, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Encouraged himself in the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are watching, you could be going through a discouragement today. Discouragement comes from many different places. Uh, loss. Uh, David has lost something right now. He feels he's losing. Um, discouragement is, it can come through the people around you. Uh, those around David at a time when they needed to be strong, they were really weak and they were, they were not supportive at all. They're weeping. Um, discouragement can come also uh, when your life feels threatened, you know, there's a threat to your future. And David, they wanted to stone him. And that was a threat. So discouragement can come through many areas. Uh, but important thing is when it comes, what is your response going to be? Uh, are you going to immediately retaliate? I encourage you not to do that. Because if you notice in the scripture, David didn't retaliate. First, David realized something we all need to know. You can't retaliate or go behind the enemy, pursue the enemy and restore everything. Get everything restored until you do something about your discouragement. You can't be a fighter of faith while you are discouraged. This is very serious. So David encouraged himself in the Lord. Another translation puts it this way. He strengthened himself in the Lord. One thing you need during a time of discouragement is strength. You need to be strengthened by the Lord. And uh, David 
didn't get this strength from anywhere. People outside him wanted to stone him. They were not going to strengthen him. He, he looked at uh, the uh, Ziklag. He looked at Ziklag and he wasn't drawing any strength from him, uh, from Ziklag, because Ziklag was burned down. He looked at his family. Maybe my family can strengthen me. His family was taken captive. So there was no area uh, for David to be strengthened. So there's only one place. He goes before the Lord. And in the Lord, his God, he strengthens himself. Now, what does that look like? When you have no place to go and you're discouraged, you go to a corner and you just meditate on how good God is. And the fact that even if no one is there, that the Lord your God said, he will never leave you nor forsake you. And you strengthen yourself. You say, if God be for me, who can be against me? I refuse to be down like this. I pick myself up. I encourage myself in the Lord. If, as long as the Lord's presence is with me, I know I can recover all things. Now, that's how you strengthen yourself in the Lord. Even though there is a lot of discouragement around. And look at what David does. After he strengthens himself in verse number 8, Then David inquired of the Lord and said, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? Look at David. He didn't go to the Lord while he was discouraged. He encouraged himself and then in verse 8 he asked, Lord, shall I go after this enemy? Shall I pursue and recover? And look at the answer of the Lord. Verse 8. And God answered him, Pursue, go after the enemy. For thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover all. This is what I want to encourage the blessed viewers on PastorJerome.org on this faith food video. You can't recover things that you have lost. You can't recover that which you want to see restored while you're being discouraged about it. You have to encourage yourself in the Lord. If God did it for someone else, he'll do it for you. That's how you encourage and strengthen yourself. When you strengthen yourself and you go back in prayer and you say, Lord, Shall I go after what I have lost? Shall I recover the things I have lost? The Lord will say to you the same thing he told David. Yes, my son, go. Pursue after the enemy. And God tells David, you will not just pursue, you will overtake. You know, I decree and declare today that those of you watching this broadcast, you will overtake those who overtook you. You will overtake, number one. Number two, you will recover in Jesus' mighty name everything that those uh, you know, from whatever means you have lost something, you, may you recover it all in Jesus' name. Thirdly, may you recover 100% in Jesus' name. 100% in Jesus' name. These are my three declarations by prayer to you. So overcome your discouragement today. Don't look to your friends or your family or even your church to encourage you. Encourage yourself in the Lord. You have to learn to encourage yourself. Most encouragement comes from others, but David's encouragement, he came, it came from himself. He encouraged himself. So the, the spiritual David encouraged the discouraged David. And may you do the same today as you have watched this faithful video. I bless you until you meet again next week at the same, same time. PastorJerome.org. Be blessed. Amen.